Hello sports fans and we're here at New York City in the Showcase Arena here for the Rookie Showcase between the Stars and the Elites. Here we are, these are the players of the future. The future is now as you can see here, everyone here is a rookie so let's get ready for this one. This one's presented by the shop meter. And here comes Ivar getting ready for what should be a fantastic career in the NBA. Going against Emmanuel Murier in this rookie showcase. Inbound pass to Ivar. Here comes the screen. The pass to Okafor. The hook shot gets it in, and that's the first two points. Got his first points in this one. And another inbound pass for the elites. The pass to Booker. Here comes the screen. A good screen by Ivar. Here comes the pass. Another pass. A big three for Pazingas. Murier. Trying to look. To Lyles. Murier. Looking for the open man. Here we go. Mazonia. No good. Porzingis with the rebound. And they're off. And here comes a play for the elites. The pass to Booker. What a slam by Booker. And a timeout for the Stars. And the game's tied at 10. And here comes the Stars. With another possession. Here comes Winslow. The pass to Hezonia. Back. Have the space there, but it's Booker with the rebound. Here's G. And they're off to the races. Here comes Ivar. And that's going to be a foul. Like a and that was a blocking Winslow. foul on Justice Winslow. That's going to be a foul. And it's up. Comes in for and it's good. And the first now, the end of the first half, the, the elites so are leading 47 to 42 top going up in halftime. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Let's get ready for the second half. This one. The second half of basketball. And the here we are with the start of the third quarter. And here comes the play. On the, court for the, star. the shot. A perfect Booty release for Ivar. And here we go, Delgado. Ivar with another possession. Okay, stay Delgado, here we go, Anderson. Dishes it to G. And the pass to Ivar. There's the pick. Here comes the screen by Porzingis. The shot, perfect release, getting it in again. Murier trying to go somewhere. The screen by Hezonia. Murier trying to go through. Hezonia. No good. Rebound by Porzingis. And they are on the break. Porzingis, 3 for 5 in tonight's game. Ivar the 3 gets it in, expanding the range. And Murier to begin the play here. Let's see what they can do. Trying to get through. Murier struggling to even get through. The pass to Hezonia. Hezonia 3. No good. Okafer with the rebound. Ivar going up the races. Uh oh. That should have been a foul, but at least they get two points. Here comes Hezonia. A minute and a half to go in this game. Winslow. Trying to slow down the clock. Here comes Moutier. He's trying to round down the clock. Here comes Moutier. The shot. A big miss. Porzingis with a big rebound. And they're, now they're off to a race. It. They really need a shot here. They really need to make it. Oka Ford makes it. A two-point game. 
And here we go. Not enough time left on the clock. Can they actually make a comeback out of this? Rucker three, bang, three pointer. But there's not enough time on the clock and the stars get the win here. Hello, I'm the head scout for the Oklahoma City Thunder. We have the 14th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. Point guard is a position this team is solid in long term. We believe in Westbrook, and we're not looking to draft a player to challenge him for the starting role. If we were to draft you, we wouldn't want you to feel like we're grooming you to be a career backup. We love your talent. One thought is to try and convert you to a shooting guard such that you can play alongside Russell. What do you think about that idea? If you guys end up drafting me and that's what the team needs, then I'm more than willing to do anything to help the team. My goal has always been to play in the NBA. I know I'm not going to walk onto a team of this quality and demand the ball every time down the court. I'm willing to put in my time, learn a new position, and ultimately, I know I'll be a better player because of it. Interesting. Next question. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? Hmm, well, at some point in my career, I'd really like to play close to home. Playing in front of my friends and family at the highest level has been a lifelong dream. That's a good thing for you guys because I'm loyal to a fault. Fiercely loyal, even. I like to settle in a place, get comfortable, and place my focus on my current task. If I can be remembered as a great basketball player and a great man, then I'll be able to look back on my career and be proud. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and President of Team Operations for the Suns. We have the 13th pick in the draft and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? I felt pretty good. You know, I could have shot the ball a little better. I could have done some things a little better, but all in all, I think I did okay. Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? Nah, I won't feel any pressure to be good right away. I understand the NBA has the greatest basketball players in the world. I get that. There'll definitely be a learning curve to the level of play here. I'll adjust in time, and when I do adjust, watch out, baby! Okay, that's all I have. I love what I heard here. We would love to have you join us. We'll be in touch. Hey, how's it going? Good game tonight. I'm the scouting director for the Bucks. We are picking 17th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. Alright, let's get to it. We realize that here in Milwaukee, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or a Miami. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a Milwaukee Buck. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a Milwaukee Buck. Are you that person? I'd be honored to be a member of this organization. From everything I've heard, you guys have a rabid fan base up there that's ready for some postseason success. I'd love to be the guy that leads that charge. All right then, one more. What do you think you'll bring to a franchise as far as marketability? Honestly, I tend to shy away from the attention. I'm not a fan of the glitz and glamour or the parties or the magazine interviews or the television specials or any of that stuff. If you need a guy who's going to get out in the community and make a name for the team, I really don't think that's me. I'm strictly focused on my game and the team, you know? Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. So this player gets drafted by the Oklahoma City Thunder. And those are your final stats. See you guys next time with another video. Peace.